Trisha has spread the lie that Jason Nash and David Dobrik stopped all communication with her after she made a video exposing their friend Brandon Calvillo. Like that's all I was doing when I called out Brand. Take freaking accountability and stop doing that shit. That's it, you know. But they all stood behind. They all stood behind Brandon, Jason, David. They all continued to put Brandon in the vlogs. Jason defended Brandon all day long. It was fine. It was fine. Like that's all he kept saying. And no one, no one gets canceled. Everyone else during this Chris Leah thing right now is like, oh my gosh, like I do not condone it. This is awful. You know what I mean? When that was all happening, I, I was told to mind my own business. No, not only that, I got broken up with and and kicked out of my friend group. My friend group, the friend group didn't want to talk to me anymore because I exposed that one of their friends was dating a minor. And they didn't like that. However, that never happened. Here she is admitting that Jason and David remained close to her even after the video was released. So I was supposed to do this collab and, um, you know, I, I was really excited about it, but I was going through like a lot, like obviously... That was the week of I made the like the video about David and Jason and like all that stuff like that. I actually got I was then they like st stuck around and. Further proof of this was that even after she made the expose video on Brandon, her and Jason made a video together directly afterward. Hi guys, I hope you're well. It's a good start. It's a good start. Yeah, um, there's uh, a lot of things that happened uh, the last uh, few days and. Uh, Rest assured, we have been dealing with those things here off camera, and uh, Trisha and I have been uh, working on what happened. Jason and David never abandoned her like she claimed. The truth was that she drove them away when she drove to Jason's house high on meth and drove her car through his house, like she has admitted on multiple occasions. The reason Jason blocked me was like the night I was like on meth and stuff, so I kind of didn't want to like involve him so much, so I just didn't. Um, one you didn't see was the reason my boyfriend blocked me uh, a year and a half ago, um, which ultimately was the best for both of us. I got high on meth on my birthday, demanded he talk to me, and when he said he wasn't going to see me on my birthday and go to sleep, I drove over to his house, super high, crashed into his house banged on all the doors, jumped into his pool naked, kicked and screamed through every window of the house. He got so scared after three hours, he left and I chased him in my car to follow him and got in a car accident.